Is it? No. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing here? What's your name? This is Nora. Nora. Oh, my God, I love her. Nora, dare I ask how old you are? What is she? She's asking me, 96. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been playing the piano? Not me. No, she's oh, not you're not playing. No, playing. She does. You're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your daughter? Yes, I'm, the, I'm her daughter. Right. Um, What's your name? I'm Pam. But Pam. Th this is the act. I'm just accompanying. <laughs> she's sung for people all her life. And so at, at 96, this is a treat. This stage, <laughs> London Palladium audience. Brilliant. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> Ready? My darling. Oh, I couldn't see. Hello. I couldn't see you. That's oh, okay. Hello. Hello. You are a very special lady because you're full of life, full of laughter, full of joy, and you've just entertained the nation the at 96. With you. Once a showwoman, always a showwoman. <laughs> I really enjoyed that whole performance. It was just completely charming. Congratulations, Nora. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was a very special audition, Nora. Um, you're a generation that, you know, this country is built on. So, very well done and thank you. Be happy again. Keep on smiling. I didn't like you very much. I love you. We're going to take a vote. Nora. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, darling. Oh, Just here, darling. Are. Yes, I know. I keep moving around. <laughs> um, Nora, it is my honour to give you your first yes. Nora, it's my pleasure to give you your second yes. <laughs> Uh, I think Ooh. we've got about 4,000 yeses here, Nora. Be happy again. Keep smiling. When you're smiling, baby, the whole world. Thank you. Smiles <laughs> with you. Hello, everybody. Ooh la la. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hi, you. What are you? Hi, Simon! Oh, you're a 
shy little thing, aren't you? <laughs> What's your name, please? My name is Josefina Monasterio. Where are you from? I'm from Venezuela, but I've been living in the United States since 1973. Oh, wow. fantastic. Well, oh. welcome. <laughs> and how are you? I am, um, guess what? 25. No. 45. <laughs> no. I am 73 years young. What? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. I thought you were going to say 56, 57. <laughs> Josefina, how long you've been into working out? I started bodybuilding at 59 years old. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay, yes. pal. Well, look, I'm not going to ask anything else, Josefina. Just do your thing. Okay, so I'll do some music, please. <laughs> oh, oh. Savina, I mean, you are actually amazing. I just don't quite know what the act is. Wow! <laughs> 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 um, Sophia. I think your talent is the dedication, that you have that special thing inside of you that will allow you to do anything. OK, that's helped. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> as a fan, I think what you've done tonight is inspire people. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not making a joke. I'm going to call my trainer and I'm going to go, let's start working. I want the body of a 73 year old woman. Yes. I want you to train me. Yes. How? Right, we're going to vote. Let's start with Howie. It better be yes. <laughs> no, pow! <laughs> I think you're an amazing human being and an inspiration, but it's a no from me. <sighs> oh. Sorry! Okay, well, that's to Sophia. I'm gonna tell you no, but you're amazing. I wanna be you when I, when I am your age. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you. It is going to be four no's, but I think next year, I think you've just got to come on and do something, if that makes okay. sense. Okay! Wow! And what's your name, sir? John Hetlinger. Where are you from, John? I'm from Broomfield, Colorado. And John, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I am 82 years old. No, you're not. Uh, are you retired now? <laughs> yes, I retired about 15 years ago. That's 
about the time I started doing karaoke. Before you retire, what was your job? The most recent one was aerospace engineering. I was a... Uh, wow. Uh, yes, I was blessed to be the program manager for the CoStar instrument that repaired the Hubble Space Telescope. That's incredible. Thank you. Did you go to space? I was a Navy pilot that was far enough into space. Wow. Wow. After everything you've done, why, why have you decided to come on the show this year? Well, this would be probably the high point of my life and my many careers. It's... So without putting words into your mouth, we're sort of more important than the Hubble telescope. Yes. Thank yes. you. <laughs> All right, John, well, listen, good luck. Okay. Let the bodies hit the floor. 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 Thank you, thank you very much. I was not expecting that at all. I don't all. think anyone did. And I actually got a little bit scared. Yeah. <laughs> Your face, like, totally changed. You're like, Wah! Is there, like, a, a mosh pit where you work? <laughs> no, there's a lot of beer. Okay. <laughs> John, I thought you were going to come on and sing Fly Me to the Moon or something like that, you know, to fit in with your job, but you are an animal. Thank you. And I mean that I think... in the utmost respect. I absolutely love you, John. Thank you very much. That is quite a compliment. Okay, we're going to have to vote. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mel B. <laughs> Thank you. Heidi? I think you guys have all gone mad. <laughs> For me, it's a no. I'm sorry. John, as much as I like you, I have to agree. to do the right thing, John. I have to agree with Howie and Mel. Three yeses. Yeah. Where did she go? Wow. I don't know. Fairy <laughs> tale. <laughs> it can happen to you. If you're young at heart, for it's hard you will find to be wow. your old man. If you're young at heart, you can go to extreme.
That was a good way to start the show. They are not playing around. Wow, 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 wow. Heidi, what did you think of that? First of all, I see that you like younger men, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are absolutely incredible. I was like, this is not happening. I'm like, he's going to drop her through the Nico, legs. in all the years we've danced together, he has never no, no, dropped No, 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 don't jinx once. it. Don't jinx it. It's true. <laughs> don't jinx it. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Wow. Thank you so much. What do you think, Alicia? You know, the first time I saw Paddy and Nico perform, my jaw was literally on the floor. It just blows my mind every single time. So much fun, so inspiring, proving to people it's never too late to do what you love. I love you, Paddy. Love you, Nico. Thank you so much. Well done. Uh, and Nico. also... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's me. Well, listen, it was amazing, regardless of your age. And, young lady, you, 85, that well, is amazing. Yes, amazing. <laughs> Well, I have to tell you, I absolutely adore you two. But I always love seeing you. I thought you were great. Nico, you've slowed down a bit. What happened? He's 45. Come What's on. I yeah, just thought you were a bit slower tonight. But here's the good news. It doesn't matter what I think. I have a feeling that the super fans are going to adore you. And I think you've got a real shot tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Is this working? Yeah, I guess it's it is. It's working. We can hear you. Fantastic. Can you okay. hear me? Hmm? Can you, hear me? Can you yes. hear me? That answers your question. You. We could go on all night like this. Yes. You want to? Yeah, it, it would be great. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Ray Jessel. Would you share with us your age? Is My that rude age, of me to I, ask? I've got plenty to share. <laughs> 84. The I'm age 84. Wow. Wow. Eighty-four. Are you excited to be here? I've never performed before judges before. Um, I've appeared before judges before. <laughs> Ray, what will you be doing for us today? Uh, a song I've written. Can't wait to hear it. All righty. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Very good. That's wonderful. Okay. And for my second song, I'd like to... Uh... <laughs> I met this girl. And she's just great. This girl I just adore. The problem is... She has much more than I had bargained for. She's got that style. She's got that smile. She's got the walk. She's got the talk. She's got that zing. There's just one thing. She's got a penis. <laughs> She's got that flair, knows what to wear. She's got that face, that girlish grace. She's got pizzazz, too bad she has a penis. <laughs> now there's always some failure, always some flaw. Ain't that what they call Murphy's Law? But male genitalia, that's where I draw the line. Besides, hers is bigger than mine. <laughs> My life's a mess, cause under that dress, she's got a P E N I S. Yes. Thank you very much. Great job, Ray. Thank you very much. Ray. Yes. So, Ray, you... <clears throat> so you wrote the song, you said, yes. right? Yes, yes. Did that happen to you? <laughs> Is this a true story and you turn it into a song? Well, actually, something like that happened to a friend of mine. A friend oh. of mine. Oh. oh, I know those friend of mine things, but this is true, actually. Uh -huh. um, 
You have no idea what you just did in what? my house. My children are all sitting in the audience, and they all will be singing that song later on tomorrow, <laughs> the next day, the day after. You have no idea. It is a very catchy uh, tune, but I tell them not to say that. It's a catchy tune. I like to write word. catchy tunes. They don't write them like that anymore. Uh, Can I tell you something? You know, I'm really thinking you're a breath of fresh air well, at 84 you. years old. When you first got up, I was kind of like, oh, this is one of those acts that are a waste of time. I was going to buzz you. And, this, and then all of a sudden, you kicked in with that brilliant lyric. <laughs> and, and you know what? <laughs> Good for you. You know, but, we, we, but, you hear 84-year-old guy, you think 84-year-old guys have lost their sense of humor. You've got it in spades. You're doing no, terrific Some of them audition. have lost everything. So, Fantastic. You know. <laughs> right. Some even at an earlier age. Yeah, absolutely. Mel B. Ray. You are a naughty, funny, dirty old oh, man. Thank you. Thank you, dear. And I loved it. Made me laugh a thank, lot. Thank you. We need more laughter. Huh? Howie, you were up on your feet. I love it. Yeah. I'll tell you something. You're funny and witty and personable, and I just, I can't see enough of you. I love you, Mr. Jessel. Thank you so much. Let's start the vote. Howie, I'm going to start with you. Yes. No. Yes. Ray, I'm going to give you a yes as well. That's three yeses. And I'm going to give you four yeses. Four yeses. Good evening, young man. Thank you. Thank you're, you very much. You're welcome. What's your name? Marty Ross. And where are you from? Santa Clarita, California. OK. What do you do for a living? What did I do? Okay. I was a salesman in the clothing industry for almost 50 years. And what is it that you're going to do? Stand-up comedy. Yeah. Is this something you always wanted to do and then... Yeah. Why didn't you start earlier? Uh, here's the thing. I didn't know I could do this. I didn't know I... I didn't know I can stand in front of these many people and do what I do. Yeah. Are you married? I have three ex-wives. That's a routine. Yeah, right. So that means I need a million dollars, like, as soon as possible. <laughs> um, what would winning mean to you? Are you kidding me? First of all, winning at any age is incredible. Yeah, and you your know, age is? How old are you? 80. What? You're 80? I'm 80. Oh, my God. Wow. 80. Uh, it would mean everything to me because just the dream to be able to do this show with so many talented people is, yeah. is incredible. Good answer. Yeah. 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 So dazzle us with your humor, and uh, I hope we all get to witness your dream come true. Thank you very much. Here we go. So I turned 80 a few months ago, and people are saying the weirdest things to me, like, oh, you're 80? You're almost dead. Are you afraid? I'm like, no, I'm not afraid. My mother made it to 101. And if you want to know the family secret, we don't die. <laughs> no, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. <laughs> um, so I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. Oh, no. Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. <laughs> I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. <laughs> oh, whoa. I said, what did your doctor say? She said, my doctor said I have to build up a tolerance. <laughs> so naturally, I said, well, then I'm your man. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Thanks. How oh. cute are you two? Hello. Hello, how are you? Really well. Tell us who you are, please. My, my name is Corrine Wold, W-O-L-D. Hello. And I'm 85 years old. Wow, well, you look oh! amazing. And this is... I, I'm Ray, Ray Wald. Ray, OK. And uh, are you married? No, no, this is my mom. Oh. <laughs> what? I didn't know. OK. He, he's my okay. number three son out of eight kids. <laughs> what? Wow. Whoa. OK, well, this is fascinating. And why did you decide to come on America's Got Talent? We want her, her grandkids and her great-great-grandkids and my son to look at us and say, hey, there's a lot to life. Go for it. Go for the gusto in life. Why do you spend time with your mom? Why didn't you just go to the mall? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Just allow us to go get ready. We'll, we'll be right back. <laughs> How cute. That was a long time. <laughs> what a lovely smile you have. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Chrissy Lee. And how old are you? I'll be 77 in June. Wow. <laughs> Come on, girl. Have you had any work done? Because you look great. <laughs> no. No. Wow. Someone in the room has not had work done. It's incredible. <laughs> Chrissy, I'd just like you to take the stage. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I wasn't as 
expecting that. Surprises, aren't you? He's <laughs> throwing a cardigan up in the air and it's stuck on a light. I really thought, oh God, you're going to be a really bad comedian. <laughs> I'm going to have to pretend to like you because of your age and there's going to be. <laughs> and then you did that. And I think that's what this show is all about surprises and talent. I'm definitely going to remember you, Chrissy, and I would love to see you in the finals. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For me, the fact that you are 77 and still rocking out and still look cool and are still doing something you're passionate about, I find that really inspiring and I think that makes you even more amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're an inspiration. You're fantastic. It doesn't matter what age you are, you can do whatever makes you happy. Thank you. Let me kick this off with a yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. You've got four yeses. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, well done. I was kind of stuck across there after that. <laughs> well done. I'm going to sing you a song that was, is dedicated actually to my late wife. Um... Colin, I think it's extraordinary you've come here. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. To never see sunlight on your face You did your best to make me shine You always walked a step behind It might 
might have appeared to go unnoticed. But I have it all here in my heart. I want you to know I know the truth. I would be nothing without you. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything that I'd like to be. I could fly higher than an eagle. Pleasure meeting you, Sam. Likewise. You look amazing, by the way. And what's your name? Mel Day. And where are you from, Mel? I'm from Birmingham. Okay. <laughs> and what's the dream, Mel? Tell me. My dream is to win this show. That's what I'm here for. To okay. Win. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Mel Day. I came from the Caribbean. Sugar and spice and all things nice. And that's what you could be getting with me. <laughs> Now it's 1962, 63, I start singing. So at a young age, I remember my first opportunity. So I was dressed up like a sailor. And my song was, a sailor I'll be, I'll be. <laughs> if I get the opportunity to perform at the Royal Variety Show, I'll be more than happy. I look at the competition, there's a lot of young people. I still have the fight in me. I'm an old young man. Now I'm a young old man. That's right, that's better. <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 77 years old. No, you're not. <laughs> and Mel, are you going to sing for us? I am going to sing for you this evening. Okay, well, I like you already, Mel, so good luck. Thank you very much indeed, Simon. Thank you, Mel. What a nice guy. Okay, what did you think of it? Oh, 
Oh my God, I mean, you just came gift wrapped. Thank you very I much. I love you, you've got such a naughty sparkle about you and you've still got it, baby. Okay. It was amazing. <laughs> I mean, when you've got soul like that, Mel, it just never leaves you, right? I mean, it doesn't matter how old you are. You're still rocking it up there. So much swag. I've got a lot more to give, baby. Oh, I can see, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Good lad, Mel. I want to have your babies. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, there was real talent and soul, you know. It wasn't karaoke. It was you. It was a very special audition, Mel. You're a very special talent. Thank you, Thank you so much, thank you. Sorry, you don't just walk on this stage at 77 and sing like that. So you must have done this when you were younger. You must have wanted to be a recording artist. Tell me. I've been let down so many times, Simon. Really? Yeah. A lot oh. of times. OK. Well, you know what? Timing is everything, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And maybe this is your time now. So now we have to vote. Uh, let's start with, um... Britain's number one TV judge. <laughs> David. Mel, you made me pregnant during that performance. <laughs> I'm gonna kick this off with a yes! It's a yes from me, Mel. It's a yes from me! Well, I think we have about 4,000 people here, Mel, so I'm gonna make that 4,004 yeses. <laughs> How are you? Como vocês estão se sentindo hoje? Bem. And you're obviously the translator? Yes. Okay. Can I ask the guy's names and ages, please? This is Edson. He's 54 years old. And this is Leon. He's 84 years old. Whoa. He's like the guy from Up. Yes. But Julianne just said the movie Up. She's so right. Ele falou que você parece com aquele personagem do filme Up. Doesn't get it. Okay. And where are you from? Brazil, Rio. And why have the guys decided to come on America's Got Talent? They met each other 14 years ago and they had a lifelong dream of performing. So they decided to work together and act together. Okay, well, the stage, guys, is yours. Okay, thank you, guys. Good luck.
Hello. Good evening, everybody. It's been a long day. Aww. Tell us who you are. I'm Evelyn Williams. Okay. I live in Tower. How old are you? I'll be 82 on the 29th of May. Evelyn, why are you here today? Well, I love singing. I've sung all my life. Do you have a family? Are you married? Oh, I'm well married, Lou. Yeah. And I have six grandchildren and I have six great-grandchildren. Oh. Wow. And my first grandchild sings as well. She, she, was, she was instrumental in doing this. I was singing... I ha am I born? No! no, no not no, at no. all. <laughs> <laughs> she needs her own show. What are you going to sing? Send in the Clowns. Oh, it's oh. my favourite song. Sondheim. Yeah. I'm living the life now tonight. Thank you. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Send in the clowns. Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? One who keeps tearing around, one who can't move. And where are the clowns? Send in the clowns. Just when I start opening doors, finally no. Friends again with my usual flair. I'm sure of my lines, no one is there. So don't you love farce? My fault, I fear. I thought that you'd want what I want. I'm sorry, my dear, and so send in the clouds. There ought to be clouds, well, maybe next year. Isn't it bliss? And isn't it queer? I'm losing my timing this late in my career. Send in the clouds You know, there ought to be clouds Don't bother there here <laughs> Congratulations. That means you go through to the semi-final. Thank you. Oh, my God. My husband, my husband will be very proud to be here tonight. Oh. Yeah. And I want to thank every one of you. Every single one of you. This is my beautiful Evelyn. Oh my God. And she's a beautiful singer. <laughs> I hope I deserved it. You do. Yeah. Michelle.
I don't mean to point out the obvious, but why did you press the golden buzzer? There is such life in this woman. She stood up here and commanded a stage better than anybody we've yet seen on this show. Yeah, yeah. She's a storyteller. Oh my God. I'm not lucky enough to have my mother here with me on this journey. And then she stood here and she sang one of the most incredible Stephen Sondheim songs ever written, only meant to be sung by a woman this age who has lived a life. Yeah. And she sang yeah. it with love and that just killed it. Thank you, Michelle. Judges, what are your comments? You're incredible. My mom and dad would be very proud of me. Do you know who's proud of you now? Who? The whole of Ireland. That's who loves you. Oh, my God. You're great. I hate going home now. And Denise, you're 82 years young. You sang beautifully. And I just, I honestly, you move me to tears because I just love everything about you. You're a lovely, lovely lady. And I'm so pleased, Michelle, for the golden buzzer. I didn't even know what that was about. Like, you know, I thought they're going to kill me in a minute. They're back me here with it. She'll be signing autographs later. Wow. Hello. Aloha. Aloha. And what's your name? My name is Dorothy Williams. I'm from Hilo, Hawaii. Oh, wow. Uh, Dorothy, how old are you, darling? I'm 90 years old. No wow. Way. wow. You look amazing. Were you married? Yes, I'm a widow. OK. And how many years were you married for, Dorothy? 11 years. 11 years. Oh, OK. Not long. Do you have children? No, I didn't have any. I married late in life. OK. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, I'm going to dance. Are you? <laughs> OK, good luck. All right. Wow. <clears throat> Just let me entertain you and we'll have a real good time yes sir oh we'll have a real good time I'm gonna go to Mel. Dorothy, you know what? I have to say, you're 90 years old. Good for you. Good for you. Heidi. I absolutely love you. That was really, really special. You put me in a really good mood. Simon, what about you? I find you fascinating, Dorothy. <laughs> I do. And I do think there's an audience for you. I think we need to work a little bit more on the tassels. Yeah, they were working fine. They got tired from practicing. No, I get that. I get that. But you know what? 
I kind of wanted a longer song to see where this is going to end up. <laughs> OK, Howie, you look like you're enjoying that. I love you. I love the message. You are a great example. You are inspiring. I think that you should become a star. I'm so glad that you're here. Miss Dorothy! Oh, there's Nick. Oh, what's Nick gonna do? Audience! We, we had a conversation backstage, and Miss Dorothy told me that all she dreamed about all her life was being a star in a moment like this. I told her, a star is born tonight. Now, it's kind of unfortunate, because on this show, each judge gets an opportunity once a season to hit the golden buzzer, and the act gets to go straight through to the live shows. But all of our judges already hit their golden buzzer. But you know what? I don't care. I'm going to break the rules. Hello. How are you? Fine. Good. Uh, what, what's your name, darling? Pardon? What's your name? Janie Cutler. OK. And uh, if you don't mind me asking, Janie, how old are you? 80. 80. <laughs> you are very good. And Janie, why have you auditioned for the show? Well, I like singing, so my friend says go for it. <laughs> All right, what are you going to sing, Janie? No regrets. All right, good luck. standing there I didn't know what to expect I did not expect you to have a set of lungs on you like that I mean that voice came from you're so 
tiny and you have such a massive voice. It was spectacular. Jamie, how many years have you waited to do that? I'm just thankful I am here tonight. Good answer. Good for you. Good. OK, moment of truth, Janie. Here's yes or no. Oh, absolutely a massive yes. Yeah. Amanda? I think the royal family would love you, so I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Janie? 3,003 yeses. I'm fine, I'm excited, I'm, I'm anxious. <laughs> Tell us who you are. My name is Robert Finley. Where are you from, Robert? I'm from Winsboro, Louisiana. How old are you? I'm 65 years old. 65 young. <laughs> and I take it you're gonna be singing for us. What got you into music? Well, uh, to tell the truth, I was a carpenter all my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I lose my sight due to glaucoma. So, uh, Music it was always a passion of mine. So I'd say I had to lose my physical sight so that I could see my true destiny. Oh. Wow. And uh, what song are you going to be singing for us? I'm going to be singing an original song tonight called Get It While You Can. Amazing. Well, we can't wait to hear you. Let's hear it. He's got a good kind of soul about him, hasn't he? Trying to love this woman Gonna break my back You're working for a living Don't give me a heart attack You gotta take it when you can get it And get it while you can. Woo! I did not know the deal. I showed sure did know his daughter. And if I hadn't chased her, y'all, I never would have called her. So you gotta dig it when you can get it. Get it while you can. Wrap it up in bacon. Sizzle it in your pan. so much. You, uh, you, you might not be able to see us, but I hope you can feel us. I feel it all the <laughs> We can tell there's so much passion, and this is a dream. With your talent, you deserve it. You gotta know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is so important for people to listen to this song and live life the way you do. You're a great inspiration and a great talent. I love you. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much. Mr. Roberts, when you said wrap it up in bacon, you had me at hello. Um, <laughs> Man, your spirit, your energy out of this world, you combine blues, soul, a touch of country, a bit of rock and roll. I'm gonna try to get it while I can. I, amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, I actually said to Juliana, you know, I, I actually liked you even before you started singing. You've got this great soul about you. And your voice is the, the finest wines are the, are, are, are the ones that stay in storage for a few years and then they become beautiful. And that's how I feel about your voice. You don't have that voice when you're 17, 20 years old, right? <laughs> and when you connect with a song, you know, with a particular lyric, this could go through the roof for you. Thank you so much. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to America's Got Talent. What a thrill. It is a thrill. What a thrill to meet you. Well, thank you. It's a thrill really to meet you, just sir. Us, right? You're well, quite the ladies. I love the ladies. You love the ladies. <laughs> yeah. Frankie, maybe. Are you single? I'm single. Oh. Joe's Heidi. Heidi, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi. Okay, and what is your name, young man? My name is Frank Dimitri. How old are you, sir? 74. Wow. <laughs> Just a young guy. Just a young guy. And, and what did you do for a living? Well, I was a bartender. Right. For, uh, from the time I was tw 28, and I retired uh, when I was si 69. Right. Hey. And what do you do now? Uh, well, I'm retired. Right. And I like to walk a lot, and I love to sing. So you'll I be walking great... and singing for us this uh, evening? Absolutely. Dazzle us, sir. All right. I've got the world on a string Sitting on that rainbow Got the string around my finger. What a world, what a life I'm in love. I've got a song that I sing. I can make the rain go anytime I move my finger. Lucky me, can't you see I'm in love? Life's a beautiful thing now As long as I hold that string I'd be a silly so-and-so If I should ever let it go I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Got the string around my finger What a world Man, this is One second, one second. Frank, one question. Why did it take so long? You have just been discovered tonight. Is this something you tried to pursue when you were younger? Well, I always wanted to be a singer, but I, I, I stutter, uh, stutter a lot. It's, it's an emotional thing, and there's times when I can just talk and talk and talk, and I won't stutter. And there's times when I get on the phone, and it's a struggle. And when I was a kid, I stuttered a lot. So I'd never had the, the confidence to, to, really, to really do it. Well, I'll tell you something. Better late than never. That's right. Uh, Thank this you. This is You're not very too kind. late. This is the right time. And uh, it would be such a loss for the world if you never had done it. So this was a wonderful moment for us here at America's Got Talent. You know what? I have to say to you, your voice is so smooth and so sexy. I mean, I think 
I think I'm probably a little bit in love with you. I think I am. I really, really like you a lot. I think you're fantastic. And you seem very humble and very nice. I give you this. I give you my heart. You did a great job up there. Honest to God, you are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. OK, let's vote. You know what they say, if you can make it here, you're going to make it everywhere. It's a yes from me. It's a definite yes from me. Heidi. A Thank yes you. from me. Oh, and Howard. Sinatra, Tony Bennett have nothing on you. It's a big yes. Oh, what is a man? What has he got? Hello. Hello. My name is Joy Weir. I'm from a town called Fitburn, Messlow then. In fact, I'm about two miles from where Susan Boyle stays. Oh, really? How old are you, Joy? 77. Fantastic. Have you brought anyone along with you today? My two granddaughters. Where are they? Oh, there they are. I've a lot more. How many do you have? 21 grandchildren. Yes, Joy! 37 great grandchildren. <laughs> What a blessing. So what made you decide to enter Britain's Got Talent? It was my, my grandkids. Love it. Right, so I've got to do it for them, oh. haven't I? All right, well, we wish you the best of luck. We can't wait to see what you do. Thank you very much. Put a jacket round your... I mean, come on. Joy by name, joy by nature, right? Like, honestly, thank you for making us all happy and smiling. Well, look, the important part starts. David, yes or no? Well, obviously, I'm going to say yes! Alicia? Oh, absolutely yes from me, Joy. It's a yes from me! I actually don't know what to say, but you're through to the next round. Come on, Hi guys, welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves. My name is Tao Poshon Lynch. And my name is Vard, I'm 26 years old and she is? 96. Wow. <laughs> You're going to be doing the act together. This, this is your... Yes, we're going to do a ballroom dancing together. How did you meet each other? Tinder. <laughs> 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 so I was uh, teaching one of my mambo classes, and she just walked in uh, to the studio. And from that day, we've been dancing together for six years. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you think that this is a million dollar act? She's right next to me. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. 
<laughs> okay, go for it. Enjoy yourselves. Thank Good you. luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ninety-six. say something I'm very inspired seeing a 96 year old dancing with somebody 70 years younger is just too mind-blowing for words I love it I love it it's an inspiration Thank you. Thank you. That's all about. Howie, how old are you I I'm again 60 this year so the my dance partner has not been born yet <laughs> Would America like them, Howie? Do you think they would? Oh, see I them? don't think America will like them. I think America will love them. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say, that was inspiring. Plus that she has three hip replacements. Wow. Wow. <laughs> three hip replacements? Yes. I don't let anything get the better of me. No, you don't. I You're amazing. You. <laughs> Heidi, what did you think? I was just going to say, I'm a little mad that you stole my dress out of my dressing room before you <laughs> came out here. No, Tao, you really are an inspiration. It's unbelievable. It is incredible. Tao? Uh, you don't see this anywhere else on television, but America's Got Talent, and I loved it, and I'm going to start the voting. It's a yes, a yes, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. I have to say yes, it was great. Four yeses, we will see you again. She's skipping in her heels. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Oh, oh we're on. Hello. 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 I'm Henry. I'm Malk. And we are the pensioners. Oh, I love the name. How do you know each other? Well, we crossed paths all our life and didn't know it. Yeah. We went to the same dance halls. Yeah. We're both engineers by trade. Not now. From mm -hmm. where? Yeah. In Doncaster, yeah. South Yorkshire. In Doncaster. Yeah. Do you mind me asking how old you are, Henry? 84. 84. 84, yeah. I'm 75. You're a youngster. Yes. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hit it! Here we go. feel so young and you make me feel like spring has sprung and every time i see you grin i'm such a happy individual 
the moment that you speak me I want to go play hide and seek I want to go and bounce that moon Just like a toy balloon You know why? Cause you and I We're just like a couple of tots oh, Running across the meadow And picking up a lot of forget-me-nots Cause you make me feel so young You make me feel there are songs to be sung Bound to be rung And a wonderful thing to be found You make me feel so young You make me feel so young You make me feel so young Oh, so lovely So young, so young, so young So young Thank you. I loved you. I think you've both got great voices. You made me feel very nostalgic. And I think this is the perfect thing to put in front of the Royal Family at the Royal Variety. Woo. Yeah, the Royal Variety. You guys are so warm and funny, and that was just great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good job. I love you two. Really? There's a wonderful chemistry. I know exactly what you mean. I'm sitting here thinking, this is Anson Deck in ten years' time. Ten! 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 Get through to the next round. I want you to sing Let's Get Ready to Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> You're the kind of acts you feel good after seeing. We're gonna take a vote. David, yes or no? I'm going to say yes! Oh, thank you. Alicia? It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Get practising, guys. You've got four yeses. Hi, sir. What's your name? Matt Dodd. And Matthew, um, what is your job? I work for a daycare centre in Ballyfermot, um, looking after the elderly. Why <laughs> did you go for this show? Um, we were at home a few weeks ago, and we were all having our lunch, and one of the grandchildren said, when they come on TV, Grandad, would you not go for that? And here I am. What are you going to sing? I'm going to sing a Tom Jones song called Oh, You Have Nothing. Oh, I know that song, yeah. Shirley Bassey does it too, yeah. Yes. Shirley Bassey yeah. does it too. OK. Let's hear it. I 
From Bally Furman. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Get up, Ella, about you. With the voice like that, how come something hasn't happened before now? Um, I didn't meet you, Louis. <laughs> but it's a brilliant voice. You hit every single note. Oh, thanks, Louis. I mean, Michelle, what do you, you think? You didn't even have to try, honestly. <laughs> Thank you very much. That gift is very rare, Matt Dodd. You don't get that a lot in a lifetime. You have something very special. Oh, and I am so, so jealous of those beautiful people that you get to drive around. They get to hear your gorgeous voice every day. They are blessed. I mean, Matthew, we don't hear voices like yours anymore. No. And that's what I oh loved about God. Tom Jones and Shirley Bassey. Great big singers. Denise, what do you think? I think we've just found a new superstar for Ireland. Oh! It was passionate. It was it was pretty perfect. I mean, I, it blew my mind. I thought it was just fantastic. Seriously, your voice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jason. So, Matthew, that was a massive voice. It was oh, really, really you. big. Do you sing anywhere else, like ever? Well, I just sing in the pubs and the karaoke bars. Oh in, my god. In town, yeah. And that's it. That's it. Oh no, man, you're a star. You belong yeah. somewhere else. You oh. belong in a much bigger place. Well, Matthew, I am delighted that you come along today because you won the best voice that we've heard on this competition. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you've just got it. You've just got it. Oh, thanks so much. And a fancy belt. So, huh? <laughs> OK, Matthew, this is the moment of truth. We're going to vote. You okay. need three yeses. I think I know what's going to happen. I'm going to start with Denise. Oh, yes. I mean, of course. Jason, a massive yes. Well done, Matt. Yeah. Michelle. I don't have a yes big enough, but yeah. yes! Oh, thank you so much. Matthew Dodd from Palmerstown, you've got four massive yeses. Hey. I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. So I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have done something completely different in my audition. 3% likability. That's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6%, is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> Yeah. Understand? In what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, y'all not gonna believe this? I got Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah, got that Grigio. <laughs> Let's do shots of Chardonnay. Let's start a book club. <laughs> It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one 
time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. this Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos taco. Mm. Oh, that's good. It is just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. No. I do. I really, really do. I think magic that, Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. Howie! I want to give a standing ovation to, okay. Let me finish. Well, to Howard yeah. Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Hug it out. They're going to kiss on live TV. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh, my God. You did it. They kiss on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store. Not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you're stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was going to rob us because I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, tries, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> He didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, Bleh. I like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was gonna be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. Oh. 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 Heidi, uh -oh. my mum told me that you are a Victorian. Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> I got a 
motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be laugh, blissed, right? Yeah, she black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times, you're alive, you are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. <laughs> Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. No, we need more. We need more. I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah. Take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just slay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. You know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. I'm like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though. You know, I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> But the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me. I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love her. Howie, I, I want to say this from, from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show and as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard.
Okay, let's take what? a look. Here what? we go. Oh, Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four, three, two, one. And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. But, you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. And also, I'm, I'm translating. Yeah. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes, and... We, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what they... <laughs> what they what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. How <laughs> <laughs> is grumpy up. sometimes and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing. <laughs> I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> it was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. But I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. Our daughter, Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. <laughs> hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. <laughs> she asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. Does this look familiar? Yes. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. <laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. So
Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience, this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> there was, you know, we would deliberate a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only thing I'm mad at is that you worked on Canada's Got Talent. You would have won Canada's Got Talent. You guys are so fucking good. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> He hasn't even done anything yet, come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> My mom's an old Indian lady, she's a snitch. <laughs> My mom will just show up, where is the rope? What happened to the duct tape? Where is the bleach? I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom, you raised me. <laughs> Don't do this, I'm your son, come on. <laughs> Password is magic. Did you just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yes! 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 Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're <laughs> cheating because they heard you cheating. <laughs> All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much.